Armstrong Entertainment. Hey, this is Chad from Armstrong Entertainment, and I got back from seeing Unknown. It stars Liam Neeson and January Jones, and it's basically your typical mom movie. Hello, I am Asian Mom Pickle. Take me to a movie. I like. This is a movie that I would like to say my mother would love. It's there's like not a lot of swearing in it. There's no sex, no nudity. Some action scenes, but nothing too gruesome. Perfect for your mom, who is kind of conservative, which would be my mother. I basically would combine it as three movies combined into one. It's The Fugitive, The Born Identity, and so all mixed into one movie. Nothing's new. Liam Neeson's character, he gets amnesia, I guess you would say, after a cab ride accident that you can see in the preview. And he goes back and he finds his wife. They're, they're visiting in Berlin because he's giving a, um, a lecture. And he goes and finds his wife and she acts like she doesn't know him. So it's this whole, the whole movie's about who is he, is he who he thinks he is, does he have amnesia, is he crazy, what's going on. The preview doesn't give away a lot, which is kind of good because the movie kind of went off in this direction that I didn't see it going into. But overall, I wasn't a big fan. It didn't give you enough clues of how to figure it out. Like, I had no idea what was going on. There's no way to tell what was going to happen. You kind of just had to go with it and just watch. You couldn't really try to figure it out and work it in your head because it you could never have thought of it. Well, maybe you could have thought of it, but I didn't. The movie would have been awesome if it came out in 1955 with Alfred Hitchcock as the director and January Jones would have been played by Grace Kelly and like Jimmy Stewart was Liam Neeson's character. That would have been awesome back in the 50s, but I feel like it, it was just missing something. It had a very like Hitchcock feel to it for me, but about 50, 60 years too late. January Jones is in it for probably 15 minutes, which is a good thing because she kind of sucks unless she's on Mad Men. She, I, it, it was funny watching her, just how she, she's so stoic and boring and just, oh man. Well, I don't know, I, I mean, I love her on Mad Men, but in this, I don't, she just kind of plays the same role. I don't know, I don't get it. I like her, but I don't. If Grace Kelly would have been alive, I wish she could have played it. If she would have been perfect as Grace Kelly. Wow, January Jones should play Grace Kelly in a movie. No, that wouldn't work, because Jerry Jones can pull it off. There's a few ridiculous car chase scenes. There's like driving backwards and going through a trolley. I don't, it was ridiculous. It was like, really? Come on. Like, that's really not going to happen. It was a little over the top for me. I'm not into the whole car chase thing unless there's a real point to it or a meaning. Overall, I would not suggest seeing this movie unless you're a big Liam Neeson fan. He was really good in it, but that's about it. Uh, everything else is kind of redundant. It happened before. I would definitely rent it, or if you want to go see a movie with your conservative mother, go check out. Unknown. Oh yes, you shall take your mother! Yeah. Too bad Alfred Hitchcock couldn't have done it. I'd give this movie, out of 10 stars, I'd give it like a 5. Oh, I would give it 2 fortune cookies!